like Muna never thought coming to America with papers you know have you know fear stuff like this getting put out within two months you understand me within two months i've been here get there by this train and get a wall of the into custody and suspicion from robbery my father didn't care you know for me i look at my mother you know i shot we get on start Anything can when you take up gun and them thing they are short paper and them thing that we are run from. Some of us might get the impression that most hardship and struggles come from the journey of being undocumented to documented in a foreign country. I will not dispute the fact that in some cases, this is one of the most challenging tasks for some. But let me say this, even with papers, the struggles and hardship can be relentless and unforgiving in some of these foreign countries. My next guest is going to talk about just one of her experience. And this is when she just come to America. The Jamaican heat didn't even evaporate it out of her body good as yet. And she started feeling the serrated edges of people who were close to her. Hi, my name is Tia, and this is my story. Why did you decide to come to the United States? Oh, my dad, he petitioned for me. So he filed for me to come over here. Um, he started the process back when I was in high school. And then, you know, all of this stuff happened along the way, but um, everything came to around 21, just as I got to like 21. So I didn't have like a choice. Oh, okay. You know? So were you excited when you hear your dad say, you know, may I file for you? I mean, yes, I was, because like I said, I was back in high school, you know, I used to hear the kids them talk, you know, how they when they travel, and you know, they kind of lifestyle it was. Um, what impression did you had in your head about America before coming here? I like, mean, you know, personally? It was the best place, you know, the land of opportunity, you mm. know, um, independence, you know. Were you influenced by anything on social media or I mean, TV or, you know? Yes, you know, I used to watch TV Christmas time, you know, the lights, the um, mm. bonding with families, you know, you watch the movies and you see them in the store with all the toys, mm. you know, just about everything kind of feel like, yeah, this would be it for me. The other downside to that is I had to leave my son, you know, so I couldn't get to bring him with me. So that was the part to it that, you know, kind of had with my feelings at the last point to mm -hmm. coming over here but for the most part i was ex excited you know going somewhere new starting a whole new life you know i was kind of anxious to see what it would be like did you stay with your dad no so when i came here um well, i went to my aunt oh okay yeah so, so at why the time, why didn't you go to your dad since because I didn't do the he's filing. a truck driver you know he has his own business he go from state to state mm -hmm. so he wasn't stable you know so so you just go stay with your aunt stay with my aunt okay um so what was the biggest culture shock when you just come first the language you know it was you know going somewhere and speaking and yeah. then you would say something they don't understand it you mm -hmm. know and then that transition trying to speak proper english <laughs> right um i mean north carolina is kind of cold so you know it went from hot to cold oh so you came and come to uh, north carolina yeah so mm -hmm. it was pretty cold over there so within like three weeks you know now that i'm here family members start to reach out you know i had my aunts reach out a couple of my other cousins you know everybody calling right. me you know i'm glad they're here da, da, da. so my aunt reached out one of my aunts reached out to me and said that you know being that the years because she lived overseas for quite a amount of years okay so she was like you know my niece i you know, being that we wasn't so close, being with the distance, you know, I wanted to come and stay with me. What are your plans here? Right. You know, by then I would have tell her, you know, I want to go to school, work, because by this now I leave my child back in Jamaica. So my goal was work and school. So she was like, okay, you know, um, you can come 
and stay with me. I will help her with the school. Being that, you know, right. I didn't do anything pertaining to you with education wise. So she wanted to help me. Right. So is that the aunt you're staying with? No. This okay. Was this aunt. is a different aunt. Yes. Okay. In Atlanta. Okay. So this aunt was in Atlanta. Yes. So have you gone to see that aunt? So I went down. I took the bus mm -hmm. and I went down to see her. So from North Carolina, you from took the North bus. Carolina to Atlanta. Okay, so you jump on the bus, so you go down. Go down there, you know, I got down there, you know, the first couple of weeks it was, you know, getting settled in, going to the mall, you yeah. know, taking yes, me eh. places, you know, trying to yeah. get me yeah, so settled yeah. in. You know, foreign nice. Foreign nice, like <laughs> over here is a different thing, over yeah. here so it's a whole different thing. Right. So, you know, I'm kind of, I'll be like, oh, three weeks, me the North Carolina, me the Atlanta, you know. Right. Yeah, me touring. Yeah. We're going places. <laughs> So, like me said, I'm going there and, you know, I was there with them for a little while, staying mm -hmm. with them, trying to do the process for school, you know, because that was the goal. Right. So, your whole goal was going to school. Going to school and working. Because, yeah, because you're still young. Yeah. And then, you know, you want to get yourself situated as quick as possible. Because at that time, I felt like time was against me. Okay. You know, my son is like one one and a half, almost two, you know, my goal was to come here, work, and get him to me as soon as possible. Oh, okay. So I felt like time was against me. Right. So I had to make sure I did all that I could mm -hmm. to have him with me. Let me break here for a minute. Sometimes the ones who we think will be there for us, have our backs, and help pull us out of a deep tank of water, are the ones that will gladly throw us a stone for a floating device. Let me say this again. Sometimes the one that we think will be there for us, have our backs, and help pull us out of a deep tank of water, are the ones that will gladly throw us a stone for a floating device. I say this before in one of my videos, and I will say it again. When you come to a foreign country, if you're not mentally, physically, and emotionally strong, you're most certain to break along the way. Some of these challenges comes from your very own, and I can attest to that because I have been down that road a couple times before. America or any other foreign country for that matter, is not a better rose. It can either make you or break you. And sometimes the people who are close to us, the ones who we think that are going to help us to make and not break, are the ones that turn around and break us the most. Don't get me wrong. I am not saying that every family member's close friend, relatives, or even associates are a piece of shit. No, I am not saying that. Because you have some good friends, some good family members, some good associates that will help you and, and, and mold you and help push you towards your goal. You have some really good family members out there abroad that will help you from the start to the finish. But you have some that is a piece of They will break you instead of help to make you. Yeah. What happened after you got on there? Um, so they, hold on, before you go any further, you said this is like three weeks now or four weeks into... Three weeks into coming to America. Right. Me leave and go stay. Send me a go to her aunt because she said, you know, should I help me with school and everything? Right. So you were excited to... Excited to go down there because at least me I cross something off of way. You know, mm -hmm. when me come up here, if you do. Right. So I go down, me go down there and, you know, while being there, the, the aim kind of shift from school and it be more like a, like a help, you know? Everything about me started to kind of push back. So the school thing now, you're not to hear too much about it. And then everything was basically more geared towards them. After that, now I decided to have a look at work. Right. And because at the end of the day, I'm like, I said, my main focus, come here, work, mm -hmm. go to school and get my son here. So right. I said, you know, I have a look at work. Right. So I apply until eventually I get to work at Walmart. Mm -hmm. 
So, you know, by this, I start to work, you know, couple nights, you know, get drop off, pick up, until I have to get Uber. Start to get Uber for go home. So, how comes the, the picking up stop? Because it's not fitting at the schedule. With them, okay. Yeah, with the schedule and the whole thing with them, it mm -hmm. wasn't fitting in the schedule. And then um, from there, like within maybe a week in the job, um, we went to Miami for the weekend. And my way coming back from Miami, me at the airport and like me a call for say, you know, me and my way coming back. Right. The phone a ring, nothing. I think, me I feel say, because me are out of Atlanta now or out of wherever, the phone now nah, pick up, mm. you know, because me not know. So I said, well, the service here probably bad. My car, my car no answer. Until my car, when I my cousin them, and said to them, So you called the aunt phone? Yeah, I called the aunt a couple of times. By this, you know, I called on somebody's phone. Right, because yours was My phone work. not working, so I borrow somebody's phone and call, and I ne me never get no response. So I call and call until I get uh, my cousin. And I say, you know, um, me been a try to call um, my auntie and whatever. And they must have, he must have really, and must say, yeah, because your phone off. So I say, me bad my phone off. Hmm. He must say, yeah, your phone off. And then cut like, it off? Cut it off. So did your auntie say anything to you? She just cut off the phone? When no, you... so I did call her back and she did that work. So I kind of did that experience. You know, me a call and, you know, the phone I got you. And like she has said to me, so she don't know what happened. So she blatantly tell you. Yeah, like she tell me so she don't know what happened. She don't know what happened. Yeah, she that time know. I cut the phone get cut off. The phone cut off and me don't know so the phone cut off. Was the phone in her as she did put on the phone from the initial stage? Yeah, she put it on. So I was on her plan. And she didn't know what happened. Yeah, so the phone cut off. And then um me at the airport and me like, you know, home when we reach, me have to go call and by this me did tell my cousin say me reach so time so time and if them could if him could have picked me from the airport. Right. And which him agree. So me said when we reach, me will call you and then, you know, we'll go from there. Mm -hmm. Reach now, back and him pick me up and I knew we're now going to the house. When I got to the house, um, you know, me knock until my cousin come down and when she opened the door, she said to me, say, buy this, me see a suitcase at the door. You see a suitcase? A suitcase at the door, a purple suitcase, a suitcase I'm going to bring down there. Waiting for you? Yes. So mm -hmm. she said to me, say, her mother said, now nah, I'm going to work out because, you know, she needs somebody where I'm going to be of benefit, basically. To them? Yeah. And she said, her mother said, not to let her let me in the house. We may just step me things and go. Just like that? Yeah. So I couldn't even go in at the house to grab anything because all my stuff was already packed. I meet you out at, at the, the door. door. I wait for me. And we're not talking about a stranger here. No, this is a family member. Family member. Yeah. I think them say family member have your back in a foreign. I think so too. I tell people all the time. When you come in a foreign, you don't have no family. Yourself or your family. In America here, it's all about you and yourself, family member. You love them from a distance. So, when you grab your suitcase, them now you just have to. I what, mean, what happened? My heart, because within a month, you get me. By this, a month, two months in America, mm -hmm. you know, coming here, my heart, my goals, you know, me have right. a child. You know, I couldn't come and be of no help or have nobody. I never have the time span for nobody to use me. Right, right. Because I, I gave myself time. Time was, to me, time was running out against me. Because I have stuff me set out to do. You know, and coming here and hearing, you know, a family member said to me, say, you know, I'm going to help you. You know, and then turn out where it was not like that. Not you know, I like go that. down there and within a month of, you know, out like me, me couldn't believe like this is a family this is an aunt you know so of course me did hurt me never have nowhere to go either what if i never had this cousin here this cousin that came and got me what would i have done no phone so who who me could i call
like would I never thought coming to America with papers you know have you know face stuff like this getting put out within two months you understand me within two months I've been here wow yeah because your goal wasn't important to the person I never know what depression was you know I never knew what depression was I knew the words and I knew what it meant but me never know what depression was until me come to the United States I can honestly say that all my life with me ever living in Jamaica I never know what depression was until me move to the States Foreign is not what you see on TV, in the movies, and on social media. In no doubt, it is a beautiful and an amazing place, yes. But behind the skyscrapers, the lights, the fancy cars, the mansions, there are regular people like you and me battling the struggles of everyday life just to make ends meet. Yes, these first world countries are filled with opportunities. But just so you know, them not just fall into your lap like that. People have to battle depression, anxiety, hopelessness, all kind of things just to achieve them goals. And that is the reason why people not have to bad mind people. Because you don't know where some people go through. People are going through the worst. People are going through hell just to eat and to put food on the table in America, in some of these first world countries. And we just don't know that. Because they not carry them things up on TV. Do you know how much homeless man and homeless woman and pick them pass on the road? I beg money. Do you know how much of them I see? Do you know how much madman I see a foreign? But we not see them things there. Eh? But anyway, this was just one of this young lady struggles. Just one. And as you could see, she didn't even scratch her head good. Fresh off of the plane. And the ones that she was depending on to help her navigate her way in a foreign country towards her goal, turn them back on her. Within a couple of weeks. <sighs> As we come to the end, I ask her this question. Listen. And by the way, thanks for watching. You end up getting your son now? Yes. Okay. What would you say to other people out there? You know, people who look from the outside wanting to come to America. I would say to them, for the 21 years that I was in Jamaica, was the best years of my life. A lot of people want to believe that. But when I came here, if I, like I said, if I wasn't the type of person I was, I would have give up a long time. If I never had my son, I would have probably give up a long time. Um, go back home. Go back home. Done with it. Um. America has taught me so much. Not good memories either. You know, not, not the memories I would have wanted coming over here nothing i would have never thought you know but then certain things had to happen for me to see that i could do it by myself you know it was a couple nights me gonna be me cry because me can't understand how it not come together yet two years three years did not come together and then when i got on my own thinking everything would come together. I was lonely because I would have wanted to spend Christmas and this with family, but then I remembered. So it's all, you know, it's like, mm, no, 
just keep on your part and know say you in this by yourself. 